and I guess welcome to another studio vlog although it's an unplanned studio vlog I just decided I'm gonna film some stuff definitely not gonna be going up this week uh, so I'll probably film some bits from today and the rest of this week and then some bits from next week first thing I want to show you in the dark dark packing room I finally have a lot hello oh there we go look how bright it is <laughs> bye so it's really messy in here because paul has been taking apart like a million pieces which is what he does for his job um this is actually probably too bright now that light's supposed to be dimmable but um we can't work out how to dim it so you know this is better than it was too bright it's better than not able to see anything because it's pitch black anyway yeah so it's a mess in here um i want to get my pegboard up now if you've seen my other vlogs you'll know that this was always on my wall in my den i'm not going to attach it to the wall um because I, I don't really want to you know put holes in pools wall. what i have is clamps put it on the desk so that's my plan is to try and get on the table however Paul's had to go into the office so he's not here to help me move the table maybe I'll just get it ready and get the clamps on ready for when he comes home anyway also all my new pins are here my washi tapes here I launched my shop update yesterday uh, well last night um but i haven't yet organized the stock so i need to organize the stock basically i need to put all these millions of pins i need to like build new containers and put them all in their containers seriously though look at how dark it is without this on hi that was uh, a worthy investment in my opinion i'm just gonna try and put this together I don't think I'll be able to do it on the table on my own. Anyway, let's, let's go. Although, I haven't had a break for a while. So I might go have a break first. It's quite late actually. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's go. Another broken plate. Another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack. Words that we can take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you mm -hmm. You make me laugh So what I'm doing with these is because I've got all these mini pins and otherwise I would just have a million of these if I put one per pin in. So I'm putting two in and I've created like a little um, section out of the off cut. So this is basically the top, oh, <laughs> the top of the folder and I'm literally just kind of putting it in and making like a little section. Clever, right? Somehow it feels right 
we never get it right but it still feels right we never get it right but somehow it feels right that's how i feel about you <laughs> Okay, excuse the dressing gown and the noise from Paul's game. Paul's just gone upstairs to get my um, chest of drawers to go under the desk because we're out of room already. <laughs> I only just moved down here and I've already outgrown my little shelf. So um, I've got a couple of spaces left for um, some washi that's going on there and then it's completely full. So yeah, I need to bring the chest of drawers down here and then a lot of this stuff will be going in there so that I've got another shelving unit. It's not ideal, but I don't really have any other choice to be honest. Um, Cause yeah, I just, this washi delivery and restock and pin delivery was really, really huge and I just don't have room for it all. So that's what we're doing at like seven o'clock at night. Tuesday the next week <laughs> today I plan to take photos of my moon mount items basically I've ended up with quite a few extra items uh, for this goodie box due to a manufacturer minimum order quantities and B uh, I had a few people cancel after the first month um, and if you don't know to get the goodie box on Patreon, you have to be um, you have to be a member for both months. I'm going to message them just to confirm they don't want to go ahead. Um, it is a festive theme box, and it's now the 24th of November. So you know we're cutting it quite fine. And if I don't put it in my shop soon, then I'm not going to sell it until like next year. Um, don't really want to hold the stock and I really want to share all of my little designs with people. I need to send the last few goodie boxes out. Uh, yesterday I processed all the international ones so those have gone. And I also need to do some prep for Black Friday. I don't normally do Black Friday, um, well other than the first year of Lula Rocks. Um, I haven't done Black Friday since because normally the Etsy festive market is the weekend after and I can't risk running a Black Friday sale and selling out of everything. Not that I probably ever would, but I can't risk selling out of loads of stock and then having a week until a market and no way of getting new stock. I just can't ever really risk it. And it's such a shame because it's a really good way to get rid of kind of old stock stock that's not selling well you can discount at quite a big rate and people might take some off your hands and just to give back a little bit oh my god there's like loads of giant seagulls you know like the big ones outside the window sorry i swear every vlog i'm like looking out the window like oh what's going on there's always birds and all sorts out here completely lost my train of thought because of bird talk my bird watching. I think I was talking about Black Friday sale. Yeah, it's, it's also a really good way to give back to people. I don't run sales very often in my shop. So it's nice to say thank you to everybody. So yeah, I don't always take part, but I will be taking part this year. I mean, this vlog probably won't be out before then. I can't guarantee that they're gonna reach you by Christmas, unfortunately, because obviously COVID, you know, the post delays, 
blah 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 and then I need to pack orders so that is going to be today I can't really show you much of the moon mail stuff really oh it's just so difficult because I'm going to have to advertise it this is oh, this is where my dilemma comes in really oh here we go I'm chin wagging to you guys again <laughs> my dilemma is this my patrons don't all want to know what is in their goodie box so I'd like to try and keep it not a secret but it optional so i share i do share stuff on patreon but i always say don't look at this post if you don't want to see spoilers um and i don't think it's fair to offer items in my shop when my patrons don't have them yet however like i said i'm running out of time if i don't get them up now and spoil it now and advertise it on social media and show the people what i've got no one's gonna buy it <laughs> So I'm gonna be left with all the stock. Oh, it's just really, really difficult. So anyway, I'm gonna stop babbling. I'm gonna drink my urine-colored vitamin drink. So I am gonna go now. Also, <laughs> just a small disclaimer before I go. If your urine index is colored, you should either go to the doctors or drink more water. Just saying. <laughs> Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, was that we can't take back. We are the reason opposites. Okay, so I just finished taking photos of the Moon Mail box. And I just realized I'm not gonna be able to pack everybody's Moon Mail boxes today because I'm still waiting for a delivery of glassine bags. But I do need to count all my seconds pins anyway for this second sale. And I've got a bit of a headache, if I'm honest, but I've got to carry on working because I've been slacking off a bit recently, I'm not gonna lie. I just keep kind of taking afternoons off here and there to watch anime and play Animal Crossing. <laughs> I don't want to say it anymore. Okay, I have so many seconds pins. It's been a little while since I last did a second sale, so I'll show you what I've got to deal with. <laughs> So there's this random pile, all of these, and then this whole bag. Good morning. You know I've had a bad night's sleep when the Lion King hoodie comes out. So where did I leave it yesterday? Oh, I had a headache. So Monday afternoon I ended up taking the afternoon off. I not for any particular reason, I think just because I wanted to watch anime. Um, and then yesterday I was like, right, I need to work a full day because I've got lots to do. But then my headache just got worse and worse and worse. So I ended up taking the afternoon off pretty much. Um, so, you know, today I could really do with taking some time off. <laughs> but I really can't afford to. I've got the Patreon Q&A. I'm not, I normally wake up during filming to be fair, so by the time I come back to you guys after I've done my q and I'll probably be a bit more awake. I've told Instagram that I'm having my Black Friday sale on Friday. Um, I've set up a lot of stuff for that, all I need to do is uh, set up the listings for the new products that are the Moon Mail spares and then um, closer to the time I'll set all the pricing so yeah I'm gonna get on just wanna sleep okay I'm back um Q&A filmed and edited done ow um slideshow image for my website created done Updated the Christmas shipping deadlines that aren't really deadlines on my website for the second time. Done. <laughs> Orders. Half done. I packed about half. I'm going to do the other half on Friday. So, I feel like... I feel like I just don't really have much to show you and it's all talking and admin this week. This is like part of the reason why I don't film studio vlogs every week. Not only do I struggle to actually fit them in and do all the editing and things like that but I always feel like well if I did them every week I wouldn't really have anything to show you that was new and everyone would get bored and leave me <laughs> so that's 
part of the reason I don't do it. Um, if I didn't do so, have to do so much of the admin um, and it was all create, 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 make, 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 it would be probably much more interesting to watch. But unfortunately, a lot of it is admin and stuff on the computer that I can't show you or it would just be boring. So, um, plan is to reorder some stickers for my parcels because I'm getting fairly low and then. I might allow myself to go and watch the man of me. <laughs> One thing that I could work on is playing around with my style. So I have been attempting to stylize faces. Basically, I have been struggling with my illustrations for a little while with regards to how I feel about them and how happy I am when it comes to drawing people. And that's why I haven't really drawn many people I think since summer, I think summer was the last time I actually like properly drew a character. And I, I always feel so torn between wanting to try simple illustrations and something that's really quite detailed and kind of beautiful to look at. I don't know whether I achieve either to be honest but it's not just that like I'm always so torn between lots of things whether I want flat plain illustrations or whether I want lots of texture whether I want pastel colors or whether I want nice warm neutral tones you know like I feel like it's a constant battle and as soon as I've decided on one thing I want to do the other thing again um whether I want to use outlines or no outlines and it is constant. So I've been working on trying to stylize faces because I always feel like I sit somewhere in between realism and stylized cartoony. Closer to the stylized cartoony, but it's like I'm trying to do both. And I'm just I don't like my illustration style at the moment. I've just, I'm just really not happy with it. So I'm trying to go more towards the stylized style, <laughs> the stylized end of the scale. But I also just have this little part inside my brain that goes, but is that gonna look beautiful? You know, my, I feel like one of my ultimate goals in my illustration is for people to look at my illustrations one day and go, Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's such a beautiful image. Not just, oh, that's cool. <laughs> and I don't know that I can achieve that with a simple, simple stylized illustration. So I might work on that this afternoon. Anyway, I'm going to switch off the camera for the day because whatever happens, I'm definitely not doing anything that's worth showing you. So I'll probably check back in tomorrow and... Uh, probably do more admin work that I don't show you. <laughs> so anyway, goodbye! Good morning. I started this vlog like a week and a half ago. <laughs> I don't normally run them this long. I normally do like four days. And yeah, it's just uh, so many different things has happened, mainly insomnia. Um, one of the days last week, I think it was Thursday night, I only had an hour and a half sleep, which I think is my personal best. And Friday, I tried to pack some orders and I, I managed one and then I had to lay down on the floor in the middle of the packing room because I felt like I was gonna pass out because <clears throat> I was just so dizzy. So I ended up spending most of Friday laying on the sofa. So that's kind of what's been happening. I just, yeah, I just haven't filmed as much as I wanted to. So it is Monday morning. Today is the 30th, it is the last day of my Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. Thank you so much if you've placed an order. I'm sorry this vlog isn't going to go out in time, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know that I have a sale until it's too late. Um, so just maybe follow me on Instagram if you don't for regular updates, or feel free to sign up to my newsletter. <laughs> this turned into a little sales prep pitch. Um, yeah, so I need to set up the Patreon schedule for December, because that needs to go out today or tomorrow. I need to set up their discount code. Um, so I'm gonna show you a time-lapse of me setting up 
my Patreon schedule. So I use the same schedule template each month. I just basically take last month and then edit it and add in the artwork. I think I'm gonna go for cute woodland animals, um, which came from the Moon Mail box that has just gone out. So I will uh, insert a time-lapse now. Okay, so another thing that I need to do is set up some artwork or some kind of post to actually share the last shipping dates. Um, recommended, not guaranteed. Because <clears throat> I've got it on my website, I've got it on Etsy, I've had it up there for a little while. I changed it last week and actually moved it up a bit. But silly me this morning, realized I hadn't actually communicated it out on social media. And today, the 30th, is the last day for untracked shipping for anyone outside of the EU and US. Um, and I hadn't actually kind of communicated this out on social media. Um, tomorrow is the 1st of December, which means that my Patreon goodie boxes will be open for signups. Um, you can sign up from between the 1st and the 31st of December, and then it closes January when the boxes will go out. So if you wanna sign up, by the time this vlog is up, you should be able to sign up. There's loads of slots available, so yeah, we'd love to have you. Um, so I'm gonna get on with that infographic next. I'm currently trying to get that like monthly calendar schedule transferred from Procreate into Photoshop on my iPad, but I have no memory. Uh, my, my iPad is 64 gig? Yeah, 64 gig. And every time I create something new in Procreate, I then run out of space and I go back and delete multiple pieces of artwork and there's still not enough space. So it might be time for an upgrade soon. I think I got this at the end of 2018 or beginning of 2019. So I've almost had it two years. I just can't, I can't delete all this artwork. I might need it. <laughs> Looking at my schedule, I don't have that much time to get everything done because, I mean, it's December, it's Christmas coming up. Paul and I are potentially gonna be off like for quite a few weeks. Paul's got loads of holiday left over. I'm planning on trying to take most of it off of him. So I wanna try and prep all of this Patreon stuff at the beginning of the month so that I can actually have time off. So although I've I've put down that there will be content later in the month. It will all be kind of scheduled, ready to go in theory. And I've said that orders placed after the 17th of December won't be shipped until the new year. I need to have a whole planning session. Like I'm not actually just gonna be off. Um, I wanna spend some time doing art. I want to plan what I'm gonna release next year. Um, you know, the whole, write down some goals, evaluate my life. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it. I just had a chat with Paul on the phone. This issue is just gonna keep happening unless I completely clear out everything from my iPad, which I really don't wanna do. Um, I'm just gonna keep having issues with lack of storage. To make it worth it, there's no point me just going up a little bit because then I'm still gonna face similar issues down the line. Um, so if I get the 512 gig one and a new Apple Pencil, because of course this one doesn't work with it, I have to pay another 120 quid for an Apple Pencil, works out at over a grand. And it's like, it's Black Friday weekend, Cyber Monday, why are there no deals? And it's a 2018 version as well. We're in, about to go into 2021, so it's still an old version that's so expensive, but I use it for everything. Um, not just procreate. Oh, I just don't like parting with that much money, you know? <laughs> oh my God, let's do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm gonna do it now. Delivery, cause I am not coming into your coronavirus ridden store. Thanks for your order, Lucy. We've done it. 
done it, can't go back now. Well, I can, because I can return it if I want to, but it's gonna take like, hey, on the website it said delivery within three to five days. Now it's saying five to seven days. Good thing I'm in no rush for it, isn't it? Um, but there we go, just spur of the moment, decided this morning I'm ordering a new iPad and I just ordered a new iPad and Apple Pencil. So, oh, how to blow a load of money in a couple of hours. Anyway, I need to carry on working. I need to go and take a break and then I need to carry on working. <laughs> here it's going to be a bit of a surprise when i come to edit it to be honest because i just don't even know what i filmed it's been too long i struggle to remember what i filmed when i do a four day vlog so i mean making it stretch over like a week and a half is just like what what, what happened yesterday i mean so i just put my little schedule on the wall uh it came out really saturated i used a different print setting than normal and yeah, it's really super saturated, but it won't it won't come out like that for everybody. Um, but I'm not going to reprint it because that's a waste of paper, and we don't waste paper, do we? No, because we are eco-friendly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to my channel, and I'd love it if you could give this video a little thumbs up. And I will see you again soon for another vlog.